Hi guys and welcome to another Surface RT video and in this video what I'm basically going to do is give the Surface RT a little bit of a stress test. Now this is not going to be a scientific stress test, basically all I'm going to do is keep loading up applications and browsers and see if there is any, any noticeable difference in performance. So I've loaded up the App Store, I've loaded up uh, News, I'll just load up Email, I'll keep pressing on applications uh, until they load and then quickly use the Windows button, go back to the home screen and then load up another application. And we'll see how the Surface RT copes with it. Now I think I've loaded up about four applications so far and it's uh, handling it okay. bit slow bringing up that page but nothing too much to be concerned about. We'll go to um, Next Gen Reader which is an RSS reader uh, which is pretty good. And again that loaded up fine. We'll go to a Reddit application load of that and see how that copes. Um, so this, in comparison, it could be going to Windows and loading up many different applications and having many Windows on screen. The only difference is, of course, is that uh, the Surface RT, although capable of multitasking, it displays its multitasking a lot less to the user. Uh, for example, now I'm just loading up TV Catch-Up. I can bring in another application if I want to and to make it double screen so we've got two applications there. But I couldn't bring in another application to that side. Uh, you can simply see two applications. And again, if I swiped in, I can't put one here the because the children. application here disappears. Let me just turn the sound down. So I'm stuck with two applications if I want to. What I can do is I can drag in from the uh, left hand side, go back all the way to the left hand side, and then that will give me a breakdown of the applications I've got. Now this is not all the applications I have. Uh, it, can, it shows you a maximum number of, let me count one, oops, no that was wrong. It counts the number of one, two, three, four, five, six, a maximum of seven applications on that little tile there, but that's not necessarily the maximum number you can have running at one time. And I'm going to prove that in a second, but I will keep loading up applications for the time being. And I've got to say that the Surface RT seems to be coping quite well at the moment. I haven't noticed any noticeable slowdown at all. Uh, applications still seem to be loading at the same speed that they usually load. I tend to think that applications load a little bit slow, especially once you get one of these working symbols whether it's connecting to the internet or the application is loading up itself. That t tends to slow things down and whether that's just software optimization or hardware optimization, uh, I'm not sure, but sometimes it's not quite as fast as maybe an iPad or a, uh, an Android uh, tablet, but that might just be again because this is a first generation tablet of a Windows operating system. Uh, let's see, I've opened up about nine applications so far uh, and I'll keep going and they're still absolutely fine. No problems here. So I have to admit that the actual um, ability to load up applications and then have them in the background is quite good. Let's quickly switch to different applications now. Go to Maps. This is going in uh, chronological sequence of the way I open them. And it's moving through them very smoothly, very rapidly. So, And, and that, for example, is a TV catch-up. Now you can notice it's going a bit slowly. It's just got caught here. So I may have spotted a bit of performance issue with uh, this application TV catcher was sat in the background could be the internet I'll just switch to another channel and see if that was just maybe a little bit of a glitch mm, it's not running that work mm, seems to have caught up with itself now so maybe a bit of a problem there when it was maybe holding some video back buffering or uh, something along those lines but I'll, I'll keep moving through other applications so I've gone back to BBC which is I think where I left it as the first application uh, now, let's have a look in a bit more information about the applications themselves. Now, you may not know this, uh, but I'm going to show you it now uh, to a certain extent. I'm going to use my keyboard to do Control, Alt and Delete, and that is going to get me the uh, Task Manager. So Control, Alt, Delete still does work on the Surface RT. So we'll go to Task Manager, and what that's going to show now in this top corner here let me just zoom in the camera, is that you can now see all these applications that are running. So AppyGeek, BBC, Maps, these are all the applications I just opened up. And then if we click on more details, we can get an even bigger breakdown of how they're actually impacting on memory. So I've opened up 10 applications here, and the impact here is that it's using 60% of the memory. Now that's on top of everything else that it runs as well, because if I just scroll up down a bit, you'll be able to see that we've got all these background processes such as Flash, 
uh, communication services, uh, the keyboard, and then there's processors as well. So it's a pretty impressive performance here in terms of multitasking. Obviously it helps that the applications are optimised and you can only get them from Windows uh, App Store at the moment. So it, it does mean that everything's sort of working together quite well. So I will give the Surface RT a, a bit of a praise and thumbs up here, but it doesn't look as if you do have a lot of applications running and, you, and if you forget about them, it's still going to perform quite well. The one problem I do have at the moment and there may be a solution to this, so if you do know the answer, and I'm just being a bit naive here, please tell me how to do this, is how do I shut all these applications down quickly? Because it seems to me I've got to go to each one, drag from the top of the screen to the bottom of the screen to shut down the application. And that can be a bit time consuming. If I just go back to the columns there, you can see now that it's only showing uh, three applications. It's showing TED Talks, uh, SNES Emulator, Reddit, and the Desktop. And unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure, let me just get the task manager back up, I'm pretty sure there's still more than that amount of applications running, and there is. You can see here that there's still about seven or eight applications. So this little um, recent applications thing doesn't always work perfectly. I'll just uh, carry on closing down the applications that I have running that it apparently tells me about. So let's go back to the desktop now. And it still tells me here that I have Appy Geek running. So if I select that, uh, maybe if I double select it, now it's gone to Appy Geek. And you could see actually there was no way to get to that application because it had disappeared from my uh, little desktop here. So I can close it. And if I go to the desktop again, um, I still have applications running here. It still says Appy Geek's running, which has got me a little bit confused, but I'm sure I'd just close that down. Now, there it goes, Appy Geek's gone, but I've still got Mail running, I've still got Next Gen Reader, I've still got Reddit, I've still got the App Store, and none of them are in my recents. So, once it disappears off that list, the app could still be running in the background, and you might not necessarily know about it. So, maybe a little bit of a minus point there. So I'm just going to have to continue using the um, task manager to close these applications down. Now again, if I'm going through this in a silly way, let me know because this is just basically the way I've learned how to use multitasking very quickly in this eight minute video. Let me just close down the final couple of applications which is that and then the email explorer so it is a little bit slow to respond as well I've just closed down these applications and it's not closing down quite yet it's nearly there just the explorer to go but you can see now that the memory is at 32 percent so all those applications I did have running only were taken up about 30 percent of the total uh, memory so again a positive aspect there I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. I certainly found it an enlightening experience to show just how powerful the hardware is behind the Surface RT in that it was able to run lots of bits of software without any problems. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon in another Surface RT video.